with the new format uh, I thought I'd show you guys just what it takes to get back here in the river bottoms it's the best time to come out here my time uh, my opinion is this time of year I like the winter it's nice and cool not as many people um, some of the gear that I'm using today I got some 511 pants a 511 hoodie uh, some OR gaiters and I know a lot of people just use these for the snow but I like them just they keep the mud off your pants they keep the mud out of your boots and if you do happen to go in the creek it keeps water from coming to your boots if you're not in there for too long. You can just splash in, splash out. Some Danner Arcadias. I have a Bushcraft Outfitters poncho here. A Bushcraft Outfitters, uh, Outfitters mess tarp. I keep that in my Hill People Gear kit bag. You guys have seen videos of this. You see me doing anything with that. Uh, new product I'm working with is the Centerline Systems a canteen pouch. Canteen bag almost, canteen pack. It's great, it's awesome. It's gonna be a lot of, it's gonna be pretty cool. Anyway, um, the main thing I came out here to work with and talk about is uh, this knife from John Deering. Um, it's a Asami uh, Puko inspired uh, blade, is like uh, 330 seconds if I remember correctly. Uh, OD micarta handles, just like I always like. It's got some yellow spacers in it. Very clean knife. Uh, glued very well as you can see when I beat on it when I stand on them that's kind of my thing uh, lanyard hole I don't really give a crap about a lanyard hole I never put a lanyard in it but anyway it's got one uh, brass pins um, he does a really really nice job 01 tool steel sharpens super easy but as you can see just from me using it uh, it holds an edge really really well I'm working with mulberry here doing scrapings doing, uh, doing shavings splitting wood up so it has a nice big palm swell in it so you can get a good grip on it. Uh, I've also been trying out these mechanics gloves. As far as gloves go, I guess they're okay. But hopefully when I start doing some more shooting classes this year, I'll be able to try these out a little bit more. But out here, I kind of like to have my bare hands most of the time. Um, helps keep you a little bit tough at least. The back of the spine is sharpened so you can strike a fire seal with it like I showed. Um, but I've had this thing for about six months. I honestly don't know what the price is on these things. Uh, John sent it to me to run through and to do a review on, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, this one I'm probably not going to give away. I'm probably gonna, this one's probably going to be a keeper. It's probably going to make it into the stable knives I have with my Turleys and Adventure Sworn and Sergeant. You know, this is a, it's, a, it's a keeper. It's a great knife. It also came with a sheath. Uh, as you can see, sheath's very nice. His edges are all done very well. Stitched very nice. The only thing I don't like about it is not a dangler personal preference but as far as sheets go it's a nice 
fit. It's never come loose. I have worn a neck carry before. Um, great, great knife. So give John a look. He's got a, a vendor ship or a vendor for him over at Bushcraft USA, uh, and he's also on Instagram at, at Deering Knives. So give him a look. If you have questions on any of this gear, give a holler. Um, if not, get outside, get to the woods, have some fun.